Understand that it says that God hates the worker of iniquity. The Bible also says that while we were yet sinners, Jesus died for us. Yes, it is. That's where He showed His love. Yeah. That's where He showed His love. Now it's up to us to accept Him. He doesn't want anyone to perish. He wants all of us to. But you can't tell me what Psalm 55 says. No, he is angry. He hates the worker of iniquity. You know what an iniquity is? I do. I also know that lies are iniquity. Thank you. Lies. You call it at your church, which is nothing more than the world in your church. You let the world into your church. You didn't keep it holy. The Bible says it is written. Be holy. Be holy or be damned. Jesus said, as many as I love, I are a rebuke. Amen. And Amen. I it. Amen. God is going to rebuke the fire out of you on judgment day when he comes back and beats the crap out of you for being an unprofitable servant. Amen. That's what you people are. Unprofitable servant. That's why right. God knows you. God knows your name. Oh, it's not a point about being famous, but God knows my name. You're just unprofitable. That's how God sees you. And most of you are friends of the world. Amen. The Bible says, 
friendship with the world makes you an enemy of God. Amen. That's right. God kills his enemies. God destroys his enemies. God makes his enemies a footstool. Amen. But nobody preaches like this in your church because you won't show up and give them any money. Put down, woman. Be silent. That's another problem with the church. The women keep running their mouths. They don't know when to shut up. That's why the man of God is speaking. Shut your mouth, woman. It's time for you to listen. You've got plenty of time to listen to the homos and their agenda. Oh, do you still shop at Target? I'm sure you do. I'm sure you're not concerned with the fact that people are dying and going to hell. Amen. You don't care. It's all about you. What you're going to wear. What you're going to put in your hair. What you're going to eat. When the next concert is. When the next ski trip is with your local youth group. But what about God? No time for God with all the things you got going on. Shame on you. Jesus said he's going to rebuke those he loves. Amen. Amen. Oh, Jesus loves enough to die on the cross, but that's done with. He's already died on the cross. Amen. To set you free from sin. Amen. But why are you still walking in sin? The Bible says, if we be dead to sin, how then yep. shall we go on sinning? Yep. You're not going to continue on in sin if you're dead to sin. But you're not dead to sin, are you? You still walk in the flesh? Therefore, you're going to reap destruction. That's right, destruction awaits you. You're on the broad path because the narrow path was hard. The narrow path was difficult. The narrow path was too much persecution. The Bible says all those that desire to live godly will be persecuted. Maybe you guys should worship the right God. Because the God you're worshiping is not the right one. Mercy, mercy, mercy. God hates Hillsong. This is your wake up call, Hillsong. God does not honor homosexuals. God does not honor fornicators. God hates your sin. And I just have a question. Why do you read the Bible? It's time for you guys to get some new Bible in your mind. You guys can say, oh, here's a cookie, little Jimmy. Oh, you are a real Christian. Well, no, I hate to say it. You guys are really lukewarm. The lukewarm will be spewed out of the Lord's mouth. And I hate to say it. You guys are all lukewarm. You guys can say that you're Christian, but you guys think that God loves everybody. God does not love everybody. God doesn't. Hillsong believes that God loves everybody. And anyone who supports what we do, and you're going to this concert, don't know what we mean. I don't know. See, you guys know the real Bible. Half of you guys are dressed like whores. Half of you guys are homeless. Half of you guys don't even know who the real God is. And you can preach in your little circle all you want. You guys are nothing to God. You guys are an abomination to God. Until you guys repent, you guys will be Go ahead and preach. Go ahead and preach. You guys are We just speak the truth. I'm awful noise to say. I love it. There's more to it than that. I'm not going to get to the issue. I know the issue. I just told you what the definition is. You can test me on that later. We go to court. And I'm happy to do that. I've done this. I, gotta, I, I would like to know the history behind this. Uh, we've, been, we've been told that by the Moda people who actually have this property yeah. the Moda, that it is okay. Can I respond? Well, you didn't let me finish. So, what, what, the Moda, 
Yeah. So the motor people, okay, have always allowed us to do this and to use it, okay? They've told us this is fine, as long as we're behind the barricades, and that's fine, okay? And that's where we've had a precedent set, okay, with other officers and everybody else. And now all of a sudden, you're giving me this new, well, it's not even a new law you're saying, it's, this has always been the law. So that's where I'm at with uh, what you're saying. Okay. So Moda has complete control over there. They can do some of their permitted stuff out here. This is technically a public right-of-way owned by the city of Portland. Mm -hmm. As the city of Portland, as a representative of it, I'm asking you to please shut it off. You can spread your message as loud as you want, but without the sound, sound application. So if uh, Moda people were to allow us to do it? Would that override what you're saying right now? No, it wouldn't. Okay. So if we're behind that area, those poles right there, we're on the Then they control it, yes. Okay. All right, we'll go over there and use it. the devil, I say Because that's where... You might ask them if you have permission to do that. Okay, I can do that. So the, uh, the barricades right there, we cannot cross those barricades, right? So we can go back in that corner right there? Okay, thank you. Turn down, turn. You don't like what the Christians have to say. You want to shut us up. You want to shut us down. Sounds just like the Romans. Sounds just like the Pharisees. Looks like we've got a bunch of Pharisees here. Shame on you. So I had somebody come up to me and tell me that all sin is the same. That is the biggest lie that there is, that all sin is the same. I'm sure most of you good Christians over there have your Bible with you, so let's do some Bible study tonight. Why don't we open up the first Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. I'll give you guys a minute to get pull out your Bible, because this is a Christian concert, right? A Christian event, and you guys would come here with the Word of God, correct? Let's pull out the Bible. Don't look like many of you have them. All right, well, I'll continue. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, since all sin is the same. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor feminites, that's gay, bad people, feminites, you know, men who want to be a woman, transgender, a feminite, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covenants, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor executors shall inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. That don't say that all sin is the same. Obviously some sin does not allow you to inherit the kingdom of God. This place is a lukewarm concert tonight. It's no different than going to a prince, a Justin Bieber concert, or anything like that. You got the sound, you got the lights, you got the music, you got the smoke, and you got the slow music to serenade you up and down the little emotional roller coaster. It's time to get amped up for God, raise your hands up, party. Oh, slow the music down, now we lift our hands and we act like we're worshiping. Why don't you guys worship him outside? I see women in the, over there in line who are dressed in modestly. Who are dressed in modestly. Come on, older women, why aren't you rebuking them in love? Where was the love? They're dressed in modestly. Young women are dressed in modestly, Christians. Where are you at? Are you too afraid to judge because you dress like that yourself? God says if you love the world, it makes you an enemy to God. It don't say that your sin makes you an enemy. It says that it makes you, as an individual, an enemy. Nowhere in the Bible did Jesus say, hate the sin and love the sinner. That's something that Gandhi said. But you dumb people want to continue to believe your foolish pastor. Oh, love everyone. God said to love everyone. Show me that verse where God said to love everyone. Let's understand this. We're going to go back to the Bible a little bit because some of you are Bible illiterate around here. So 1 John, what, 3, let's say 1 John 3, 8. He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. The Bible says you're either a child of God or a child of the devil.
the devil. There's no in-between. And if you're in-between, you're lukewarm. That means Jesus Christ will spit you out of his mouth. Preach. He says in Revelation, he'd rather have you be hot or cold, the lukewarm, he will vomit you out of his mouth. Amen. Now, why, why would someone vomit something out of their mouth? Because it's nasty. Amen. It's gross. It's defiled. It don't taste good. It's ugly. It hurts your taste buds. That's why God said he'd vomit the lukewarm out of his mouth. He called this apostate, modern-day, universal Christianity, he called it a whore. He said, come back to your first love. What is wrong with you people? You have people screaming to go get their tickets, to get in line, to see their favorite rock group, contemporary Christian music. It sings fluff. It makes you feel good. Jesus don't care about your feelings. Amen. He never wanted to. He don't care if you're happy. Where's that Amen. in the Bible? He talks about joy. He talked about serving him. He said, if you come to me, you die. Die to yourself. You're in here trying to please yourself. I need to get down the hillside. Ooh, Lecrae was here. Oh, Andy Menino. Let me get down there. Andy Menino, he thinks it's okay to curse. But guess what? Most of you Christians will end up at his concert supporting Lecrae. Lecrae is doing music with secular artists who support their alcohol company. But guess what? Lecrae's a Christian, right? Doing songs with E-40, isn't he? And you dumb Christians will go buy his music. And guess what? The older, wiser, supposedly Christians does not rebuke nobody because they're living in their own cells. Amen. The blind leading the blind. Amen. The blind leading the blind right into the pit of hell. You think it's all about worship when God hates all workers of iniquity? You think it's all about going in there and worshiping? Guess what? Worship can be done out here. Amen. Worship can be done on your knees out here. Amen. Repenting to God that you need to fear. Amen. You need to fear God. Amen. You need to put God first. Either hot or you're cold. If you are lukewarm, you will be spewed out of his mouth, you puke. Christian. Amen. God is Come on. angry at the wicked. It is time to repent. It is time to repent. Amen. It's time to get saved before the blood Amen. of Jesus Christ. Stop discrediting the blood on the cross. Amen. Amen. You need to love what God loves and hate what God hates. Amen. It's time to love what God loves and hate what God hates. It's time to figure out that God hates all workers of iniquity. God hates all workers of iniquity. That's right, that's you working all week for a stupid little ticket to go in there and think you're praising God with your fog machines and your laser shows thinking, oh, they're speaking of Jesus. Amen. They're speaking of Jesus. Guess what happens when you go to the judgment day and all of a sudden some are actually thrown into hell. Guess what? When actually you find out, oh, because I sinned and, uh, well, uh, I guess uh, God doesn't uh, agree with that. I guess uh, it's not all about, you know, the, the grace that I thought it was. What happens when he actually throws the sinner and the sin into hell together? Amen. God is angry at the wicked. God is angry at the wicked. Where is the wolf in this crowd? Where is the wolf in this crowd? You put on sheep's clothing, you think you're going to come out here and deceive us? Absolutely not! Going out there, you are hooked. You are hooked to money. You are hooked to wealth. You are hooked to your material desires. Whatever happened to being hooked to Jesus Christ? Whatever happens to pinning yourself up on that cross? What happens to pinning yourself up on that cross? Get him. Get him. Not enough Bible? Uh, what? Was that the F word? Yeah, it was the F word. You got it.
On camera, we got it right here. We just busted Representative you. Representative of Hillsong using the F word. Your demons are upset. That's what the problem is. They came out. Now don't tell me to chill. That's what you want. You want all the all the men to just calm down, do the chili cook-offs, spend their money on Hillsong, bring their loudmouth wife into your concert, give you all this money. Shame on you, fleecing the flock. You're wicked.